Okay, today I'm going to be comparing the Super Jenny cup, which came with this cute little pouch. Not really my style, but you know, it's free. It's free. And the Lena cup. which came with a similar pouch. These are two new cups that are both made in the USA, both from California. So I thought as long as I was verifying the capacity of the Super Jenny cup, I'd just quickly compare them for anyone who's interested. So that shows you the height. It doesn't look that different because of the length of the Lena stem, but it's actually, Lena's a little bit shorter. They both have really nice grip rings. The uh, Super Jenny, I don't know if you can see that, but it has this really cute little ring of stars around the edge. Also has the logo on it. Um, this is made in the USA, and it also has some A measurement markers on it. This one is pretty plain. It's got Lena de Bost around the rim. Right there. Uh, this one has the holes drilled at an angle versus straight for this one. And I'll just show you real quick how the firmness compares. Lena is one of the firmer cups I have experience with. And it, probably maybe even the firmest. It's definitely one of them. And Super Jenny is one of the softest out of the few that I've tried so far. But um, I'll do a real quick comparison of how they pop open. Let's see. So that's with the C-fold. open very nicely because it's so firm. But this one also pops open pretty well even though it's a lot softer. Not quite as springy also using the C-fold, but it does pop open pretty nicely. It's actually got a pretty firm rim compared to the rest of the body. And obviously not as firm as this one, but still, still reasonably good enough to pop open well and be very functional. So I'm really excited to try this. I just want to verify that the capacity given on their website is accurate and that it is to the air holes and not to the rim. So to do that, I will be using a 10 milliliter lure lock syringe, which I have um, <coughs> taken from my home health care supplies because they are come in hundred packages and they're pretty inexpensive so it's not something that you're going to get in trouble. One of them goes missing so. <clears throat> I've got some water in this collapsible silicon cup. So, and I'm going to be, this is my Third take. So I'm going to be holding the cup like this because it's really hard to draw up water in a syringe and keep a cup full of liquid from spilling. So I've kind of rigged up the box as a little stand for holding the cup. So let's try this this time. up instead of all the way back I'm going to be drawing up to the 10 marking to make sure that it is accurately 10 milliliters. So 10 milliliter. There's 10 milliliters. Right there. And 
it's actually just about at the 7.5 milliliter line, which is interesting. Here's the 15 one up here, so we'll see how that works out as we go through this. Back in its little stands. So now we're going to be going to 20. Here's 20. It comes up just above the measurement mark for one half ounce. And it comes up slightly above what their line is for the 15 ml measurement line, which is interesting because the 10 went up to the 7.5 halfway to 15 measurement line, so we're actually at the 15 ml measurement line and at 20 milliliters. We still have a good amount of room left in the cup, so let's find out. They say it holds 42 milliliters. We're going to find out. Still got some room left to those air holes. And if this is accurate, it will be one of the highest capacity cups currently on the market, which is really great for people like me who have a high cervix and bleed a lot. Hopefully, hopefully it's accurate. All right, number four, we're at 40 milliliters. Let's see. Uh, I got to 35, and it's just about hitting those air holes. It's just about to the rim. So here's the last two milliliters. As you can see, that is to the rim and not to the air holes. It only holds, unfortunately, 35 milliliters to the air holes, which is still pretty good, but not as amazing as I had been hoping it would be. Um, still a really nice cup, a lot of cute details, um, really nice texture, very soft yet still really springy so it's going to open up nicely, a beautiful stem, I really love this stem, it's almost kind of like a teardrop, which is kind of got like this little spring, and then it's got a little ball at the end of it, a little like, nub, almost, yeah, it kind of looks like a little raindrop or something, very nice. Lena stem has a flat tab with grip rings on it that also give you a nice even place to cut it if you need to cut it off. But as you can see, it's a much, much longer stem and it's, this one seems like it might be a little bit more comfortable, although these are both really, really nice cups and I am very happy with both of them and I paid for both of these with my own money. I was not gifted them or given to them, them to me as a company representative so I'm just making this video as a cup user for other people who use cups. I'm not getting any money for it. I did not get these cups to make this video or anything like that. So just me trying to help out other people who like to use menstrual cups. So yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to try either of these yet, but I'm very excited to. They're both really nice. This one has kind of like a peach skin texture, which I noticed kind of like gets a little bit of lint from the bag on it, which just kind of annoys me, but it's still pretty nice. This one is uh, very smooth, but it doesn't, it's not quite as much of a nice as a tactile feel, but it seems like it'll be really easy to clean because it's a little bit more slippery. 
um, but they, like I said, both really good cups. Depends on what you need, what you're looking for. This one, obviously a little bit shorter, so it might be better for people who don't have as high of a cervix. People who want a really firm cup for, you know, whatever reason they might need a firm cup for. This one might be better. This one, I'm really looking forward to this one for more, like, heavy days. Which are most of my days. But, yeah, basically, thought it'd be nice to have a soft cup because I thought that'd be more comfortable for when I'm not feeling very good and really heavy flow. Whereas this one, you know, more towards the end, if I feel like being more active or something like that, I thought it'd be nice to have one with the resistance. And also, I just wanted to support two cup companies from my home state of California with their new cup, Endeavors. I think it's really cool. We have some local cups now. About the similar, very similar width. Slightly more on the Super Jenny side. And as you can see, it doesn't have the bell shape, so the width kind of goes down. This one, whereas Lena has more of a bell shape. So, yeah, for those of us in California, it's pretty exciting because we have two cups to choose from now. So, this is my very first ever YouTube video on cups. I hope it wasn't too painful. Sorry I don't have any nice lighting or nice camera or anything like that. And that it, I'm very awkward because I'm a socially awkward person. And <laughs> I'm, yeah, it's just me on my, my little HP bamboo feel. Uh... No, not even to not, sorry, not HP. Toshiba Bamboo Fuel Wacom Driven Tablet that, yeah, just mainly used for sketching, making, making my very first ever video, so please be kind in the comments and don't tell me about how bad it is because I know that it's not a professional quality video or particularly great, and I just did this as a service to other people who use cups who might have been curious about the new cups from California and interested in seeing how they stack up to other cups out there on the market because they're not really on the sizing charts yet. Uh, okay, so take care guys. Bye.